You see a lot of smaller components here, but what about bigger things? Well, certainly there are bigger 3D printers out there as well. And I love this one was in our particular lab. This is from Sayaki. Makes parts that are about three feet by two feet by two feet. And I think, man, that's a pretty big part, but I never thought about how big is the machine you need to make that part. And I was so excited on the day that it came in, as you can see here, you can actually stand inside this system. They actually had to take the windows off of the building to be able to get this thing in there. And this is, you know, the ones, uh, parts I've showed you before are all made with powder metal. This actually is feeding in a wire, and instead of a laser, you're using an electron beam there to bombard with electrons and heat it up and melt it. Or you can think of it as robotic welding on steroids. As I said, this one in particular is about three feet by three, uh, two feet by two feet. Sayaki is based up in Chicago, and the big system there, eight feet by eight feet by 20 feet. And this is exciting a lot of the aerospace industry because now you can literally print wing spars and other aerospace components that are lighter weight, much more efficient, much more cost effective, particularly when you're working with titaniums and some of the other alloys out there that are very expensive to make, or very expensive and very difficult to machine. Now with additive manufacturing, it changes this economics, it disrupts them. 